sachafonnetbooknews.com. Uh, what we're doing is taking a look at my iPad, at the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version that I got back in April from Joanna from Engadget. And as you can see over here, it's running the new iOS 4.2.1. First of all, I thought it was only 4.2, right? But then, I, but I'm not so into these uh, uh, different versions of uh, iOS, anyways. But you know what? Apple invented a couple of crazy things for this new update and uh, they've been working a couple of years on uh, doing something they call double click. So when you're doing a double click, look at this, something is happening. Doing a cup double click on your home button and there's a new bunch of icons on the bottom showing up and this is something they call multitasking. Multitasking means you can use a couple of apps in the background they're still running well actually not really they're getting in a kind of freeze mode but a couple of apps are still running for example over here your Skype right so you can still use your Skype while you're for example um, surfing the web over your Safari browser so we have the double click we have uh, something called multitasking right now that's brand new and uh, they also tweaked on um, the search engine a little bit so for example if I'm typing in netbooks over here let's do this and you can see it's not only giving you a couple of suggestions for uh, Google but it also tells you how many times it found this term on the website that is open in the background so that's absolutely amazing um, they also changed this for this local search for example if I would now choose for Angry Birds uh, well, actually, it's not showing up right now because I don't have this application installed on my iPad. But uh, over here, you can take a look also at web search then, and you can even search Wikipedia. But you know what? They invented also something else. They called it folders. Really, really cool little invention. Um, actually means that you can put a bunch of applications into kind of subdirectory. They call it folder again. And over here you can see this, that's my game folder and I have like 20 applications in there. And so um, you don't have to squeeze them all on a just a couple of uh, desktop screens over here on your iPad. No, actually you can put them into a folder. So how are you going to do that? It's very easy. You're just taking one, putting them on another one, and there you go. You just created a folder. Oh, it has the name news. And of course you can also change the name of it. What else is new? We have... Um, we have the Game Center, which is going to connect you to other online bodies if you want to do some uh, multiplayer online games. Right, so there are a couple of applications that are suggestion, uh, suggesting you uh, that you can play online with your friends. And uh, what else? You might want to ask yourself how you're going to, uh, how you're going to close apps that are running in the background. Well, just press them and there comes this little minus icon and so now you can close them all if it would work. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, pretty interesting. And the so, music player. Oh, wow. That's very mm -hmm. important. Absolutely, Nicole. So let's do, the, let's do the double click again. Let's go over here to the left. And so they changed a little bit. Right now I can change the brightness of the screen over here. I can instantly access uh, my iPod and my iTunes library and all the music. And what you can also do is, you can do a portrait orientation lock. But then you're asking yourself, hey, they have this fancy button over here on the side. What they're doing with it right now? Because I'm using the software button. So this turned into a mute button right now. Can you see that? So I'm actually not getting it because you could also always use um, the volume control for it. But now, yeah, we have an additional mute button. Anyways, that's our iOS 4.2.1 on the iPad with a couple of fancy new updates and invention. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.